Hey everybody, let's get our learn on. Let's talk about the parts of a microscope. This is, as I've written on the left-hand side here, a binocular parfocal compound light microscope. Binocular just tells us that we have the two eyepieces. Traditionally, microscopes only had a single one. Parfocal actually tells us that all of these lenses, these objective lenses, are connected to one another. And what that means is that if you focus them properly at the lower powers, like scanning power or low power, they will actually already be focused or nearly focused when you get to the high dry power and the oil immersion. So it makes your life much easier. The way I like to look at it is every minute you spend focusing the microscope on the early objectives is time saved at the end. Binocular parfocal compound light microscope. Compound tells us that there, this is a multiple lens system. So traditionally, simple microscopes just had a single lens system, maybe a round lens or a glass ball, something like that. But compound mi light microscopes have a second lens up in the ocular. So here we have our objective lenses that I've already boxed in there. And we also have a ocular lens as well, which oftentimes is a 10x magnification, but it can be 20, it can be 25. So binocular parfocal compound light microscope because of the illuminator here. The light source is actually what powers this process. So it is visible light that travels through your specimen and that's what allows you to see it. So visible light has a pretty long wavelength, which, which is the reason that we can't get great resolution and magnification. Now, getting a 1000x to 2500x is a great thing, but beams of electrons, for example, have a much shorter wavelength, so they can get a much greater resolution and much better magnification than a light microscope. So binocular parfocal compound light microscope. So microscope, like the name implies, uh, allows us to see things that we cannot see with the unaided eye. That's what a microscope does. All right, let's actually look at the individual parts here. So I'll just go in the numbered order. So number one, we do have the ocular lens, the eyepiece. That's gonna give us 10, 20, 25X magnification. Number two, the revolving nose piece over here on the left-hand side, that's what allows us to spin the objectives from, usually we see a scanning power objective, a low power objective, a high dry objective, and the oil immersion objective. Number three is the actual objective lenses. So if those are the four lenses you have, then your first uh, objective lens, the scanning power, will give you a magnification of 4x. The second, the low power, will give you a magnification of 10x. The third, the high dry power, which is called that because it's the highest magnification you can get without using immersion oil, hence it's dry, is going to give you a 40x magnification and the oil immersion will give you a 100x magnification. But you have to remember that we multiply this number by whatever's the ocular lens. So traditionally, microscopes are going to have a 10x objective in the ocular. So the oil immersion will give you 100x times 10x for a total magnification of 1,000. And you'll see why I don't write very much. So a total magnification of 1,000x. All right, let me get the screen erased here. So number four, the coarse focus knob. As you can see, it looks like you have one knob, but it's actually two separate knobs. Number four is the coarse adjustment knob. Number five is the fine adjustment knob. So they both do the same thing, but when you turn the coarse knob, you're gonna get the stage to move up or down quite a bit. And when you turn the fine knob, it's gonna move just incrementally, tiny, tiny bits. So that's the coarse versus the fine knob. Both are very important. The coarse knob will get you in the right ballpark and the fine knob will actually be where you do your focusing. Number six is the stage. That's where you're actually gonna sit the space specimen. It'll, it'll sit right here and be clamped in there by the lobster claws, I like to call it. Number seven is the illuminator. That's your actual light source, in, the, in this instance being visible light, since it's a light microscope. Number eight is, as you can see here, a couple things are pointing here, the condenser and the diaphragm. So the condenser is going to uh, condense the light from the light source and the diaphragm is actually will allow you to open and close the aperture to determine how much light will enter the stage and the specimen. And nine is the actual physical stage there that holds the slide and that's what you move up and down side to side and forward and back to position your, micro, your, your, your specimen so that it can be used properly. All right, always, as always I want to give thanks uh, to the images that we use and I hope you enjoyed this.